baby and welcome back everybody here to the primus server where today we are gonna get to the spirit world if it kills us um and it probably will kill us uh that is what the spirit world is all about actually it's all about sleeping so honestly i think what i'm gonna call the spirit world is sleepy town because we need to brew ourselves a brew of sleeping or something anyway let's get to it let's go right in here and let's type in i, I guess it would be just let's just type in sleeping um, we need to make one of these guys, a brew of sleeping, and it takes something called purified milk, whiff of magic, an icy needle, a cookie, and a brew of love, which we don't have yet. We also don't have purified milk yet, but all this other junk we got, so we need to make these two crazy elements, and I haven't even heard of purified milk before. So it takes a milk bucket of milk, an odor of purity, and three clay jars. We could do that. Um, here's an odor of purity, and I have a bucket of milk set aside here somewhere. There we go. And yeah, let's make our, our little thing here. What is it? Purified milk? Okay, I guess it doesn't stack. That's fine. Be like that. <laughs> here we go. There we go. Purified milk. Wonderful. All right, so we've got that little bit of it. And I don't know where I got this paintbrush from. Did I get this off of that that demon yeah, in the last episode and go go back one episode and check out my last episode i fought the lord of torment and he gave me a paintbrush i don't even know what that does <laughs> stupid paintbrush get out of my inventory anyway um see let's see here uh let's see i've got the rest of the ingredients for the brew of something here Let's uh, actually. I think I need to work before I think about this. Before I even get there, let's put let's put this back. We're gonna put the purified milk here too. In this chest, I've got the stuff that I need to make the brew of sleeping. But now we need to make the brew of love, which I think is this one. Let's look up the brew of love really quick. And I think what you do with the brew of love, if you were just gonna use it by itself is you can throw it at animals and villagers and zombies and you can make them reproduce, which is kind of funny. Actually, we should just type in love. The brew of love. All right, brew of love. There it is. So we need a poppy, a golden carrot, a whiff of magic, a lily pad, a cocoa bean, and water artichoke again. This is, this is where water artichokes are useful. So here we go. I've got it all set up. So luckily we don't have to collect all that garbage. Um... Yeah, so we'll put it right here. This is how I kind of like to set up stuff when I start brewing. I'm going to put these clay jars over here with this. And okay, yeah. So let's get it going. Let's make some stuff. And do I have my witchery stuff on? It looks like I do. Very good. That way we might get an extra potion or two out of it. We'll cross your fingers on that. It hasn't happened yet. I'm not expecting it to happen. All right, here we go. Cross your butt. Throw that in there, you too. And we should get some white swirls, very good. And then we go two, three. We got three out of it. I guess that's pretty good. Three brews of love, all right. So yeah, where did I put that? So here we go, we're gonna put one brew of love there and we'll leave these two and we'll put that up there too. This is what we need, I think, for the uh, brew of sleeping. Let's double check that. Let's. Look. We definitely need to double check this stuff. Okay, brew of love. We need a whiff of magic, right? That's the one thing we're missing. We can get that right here. Not too bad. All right, one whiff of magic, please. I don't need 64. So we can put that back up. Cool. And yeah, why did it do that? All right. Nuts to that. Sometimes inventory tweaks acts a little funky. It thinks it's smart. There we go, um, and let's do this. Let's make the next potion, and hopefully we can get a few more extra ones out of it. Throw that in there, that in there, that in there, that in there, and that in there. And there we go, good. I got scared there for a second. The swirls didn't happen right away. Look at that, I think we got some extra potions out of it that time. We got six brews of sleeping. So, with these guys, we are now allowed to enter the spirit world. Um, should be pretty darn dangerous guys um you're almost guaranteed on your first trip to the spirit world to to have a nightmare and basically from my understanding i've never done it before i, I read up on it a little bit but i'm gonna drink this potion 
uh, fall into a deep sleep and reawaken in the spirit world. And I kind of want to wait for daytime to do it. So let's go actually take a sleep before we take a sleep. That sounds stupid, but that's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, I, I just don't want it to be nighttime when I get to the spirit world. Because I don't think there's going to be any torches or anything like that lighting stuff up. And I want to see what I'm doing. Not that I understand what I'm doing, but let's go sleep first. Let's see. I th Monk Puzz is on the server right now. So I don't know if it's going to let me sleep. But there we go. It's morning time. Very good. And yeah, let's do this. Let's go to the spirit world. Basically, just so you guys know, there are items in the spirit world that we can't get here in the regular world. Like, um, I think there's like wispy cotton and disturbed cotton and some other stuff we need to look out for. But we're probably going to be, be being chased by nightmares and all other kinds of craziness. But let's do it. Here we go to the spirit world. Hopefully I don't crash the damn server. Oh, this is always very nerve-wracking. All right, here I am. Oh, there's a nightmare. Um, here's Wispy Cotton. Oh, shoot, that doesn't look like... It's still nighttime. Oh, my God, that's a nightmare. To see this ghost following me here? That is a nightmare. And I need to be careful. Okay, I'm looking for something called Cotton or Wispy Cotton or anything like that. Um, basically, it's the overworld. Oh, my God, nightmare. Um... Yeah, this is super spooky. Um, we're looking for anything that... like We're looking for a plant, basically, which is totally weird. Is this wispy cotton? I can't tell. I can't tell. It looks like it might be. Ah! I'm getting... Alright, the only way out of the spirit world is to die. I think this is wispy cotton. You know, I forgot to bring an icy needle with me, which I'm totally gonna need to get out of here it does seem like i have speed going on like i have a speed boost so i think all right i think i lost the nightmares oh no there they are they're hurting me help me mom save me all right let's see if we can find more i did get let's see what i got in my inventory here something called i got disturbed cotton let's see if we can find a wispy cotton all right mm -hmm. So if we just keep moving, I think we're good. I think we're good. So we're just... Ah, there's monsters everywhere, of course. Even in the spirit world, zombies spawn. This looks like the right stuff. Wispy cotton, wispy cotton, wispy cotton. All right, just keep moving. We'll, we'll make a loop back. We're going to make a loop back around. There seemed to be a whole patch of it there. That's not it. That's not it. Um, all right, just keep moving. Got to keep hustling. Oh, crap. I'm getting hurt. Oh, oh, no. Here they are. Give me that. All right, just keep moving. Screw it. We, we, we're trying to stay alive as long as possible. Hopefully, we get to take this wispy cotton back with us. And I wasn't an idiot and didn't bring an icy needle with me. All right, let's just keep moving. So I, I guess if it's nighttime, it is a nightmare for sure. We're just looking for cotton and disturbed cotton. And any of that good stuff. If we keep moving, I think we're fine. Every day I'm hustling. Do, 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 do. Sorry. I know my singing is terrible. This is not disturbed cotton. This is something else. So, if I go to my inventory, let's just trick this. Oh, I don't have my bobbles menu. Um, let's see here. I've got, you know, I've got a pretty good thing going on right now. Here's some more cotton. This stuff is regular cotton, I think. No, this is all disturbed cotton. Ow! Stop it! So, I haven't seen any regular type cotton. Maybe you get regular wispy cotton if it is... Oh, wait. What's this? No, this is still the bad stuff. What is What is this? No, that is a flower. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and die and see what happens. I think that's the only way we're going to get out of here. So let's let this guy kill us. Hello. Are you a friend or foe? I'm going to hit him. I will not go gentle into that good night, sir. No way. I wonder if that hurt him. Die, will you? All right, just kill me already. There we go. We're out, finally. All right, did I get to keep any of that? I did. I got my disturbed cotton. And it looks like I have my whole inventory, which is good. 
I even have my can heart canisters, so good to know! That worked! Huzzah! Oh, and now I got Sunscorn 5. So guys, um, I'm probably going to pause the video right here. Apparently there's eggs on the floor. That's interesting. Uh, anyway, I'm going to pause the video right here until this stupid sunscornness goes away. And we will check out what we can do with this disturbed cotton. I'm sure there's something that is useful about it. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. And um, now that we've got 13 disturbed cotton, the one thing we can do with it is we can take it over here to our magical spinning wheel. I probably should have grabbed more because I need at least three pieces of this disturbed cotton, I think, or four pieces to make one tormented twine. So let's look up tormented twine. There it is. Um, it requires a reek of misfortune and a string, too. So let's go through our stuff and see if we got that. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use this to um, hopefully create a dream catcher. Um, I don't think I have enough, to be honest, because I think it takes four. Actually, no, we. I think we just got enough, actually. Uh, so, yeah, let's throw reek of misfortune in here and some string. And hopefully that should start going. So if you can look at the uses of Tormented Twine if you shift right click it. And yeah, basically you can make all these kind of different dream catchers. But a lot of them take uh, Fanciful Thread and you need Wispy Cotton. Um, I think you can only get Wispy Cottons if you're having a normal dream. And the, the dream we were just in was a nightmare. And we can only get Disturbed Cotton from that. So yeah, ideally what we would like to do is use this Disturbed Cotton to make something that will keep us from having nightmares, which I think is this guy, the Dreamweaver of Nightmares. And I've got most of the stuff for it. I just need three Tormented Twine. I even made these crazy splash potions and whatnot and item frames. I have them down here. And yeah, let's let's cross our fingers. We got three Tormented Twine. If we run back up here, maybe we can get this going. Here, here we go. So if I click on that and then I right click on it and then I, I, I do some of this, there we go. Oh, I need, um, I think it was a Reek of Misfortune. Was it this guy? Let's try it again. So, right, right click. We go back a page. Alright, shift clicky. Oh, I need a Diamond Vapor. That's right. That is correct. One Diamond Vapor, please. And hopefully now we can make this thing. And if we put this above our bed, um, common sense would dictate that it would get rid of nightmares. I don't know. We're going to find out the hard way here in a second. Because we're going back to the spirit world. We're going back to... Oh, my god. <laughs> I swear. Sometimes shift clicking works for me. Sometimes it doesn't. I can't imagine what here has metadata. It's probably the item frame. So let's... um, Let's just... Right... Shift... Click... Oh my god. Okay. Uh, So it was like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I swear. My brain breaks, like, all the damn time. There we go. That like that. We put the diamond vapor here. We put two stinky feathers there. And we got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, NEI. We've got our Dreamweaver. Um, let's see. We've got a couple more potions of brew here. And this time, we're going to take an icy needle with us. So let's head back to our bed. And if I hang this little Dreamweaver above my bed, I think we'll be cool. I think we'll be cool. I don't know. We'll find out the hard way. But, you know, I think there's always a chance to have a nightmare. So if we take our bed and, well, let's pick it up. We're going to put the bed right against the wall. Actually, let's put it right here against the wall. And we're going to sleep, but we're not going to the spirit world. We're just taking a sleep. Just take a little sleep. Okay. Let's see here. If I put the Dreamweaver there and then drink this uh, wonderful potion. Hey, Bernadette's here. What's going on, lady? You looking good, girl. Looking good. All right, I'm going to sleep, Bernadette. We'll see you later. All right, here we go. We're off to the spirit world yet again, and it. I think this is a. Uh, I think this is a regular dream, because it's daytime. That's good. Let's go look around for some wispy cotton this time. Those nightmares were really creepy looking, weren't they? So, yeah, as you can see, apparently the only things I can bring with me are stuff that I picked up in the spirit world last time and this icy needle. So that is indeed interesting. Um, let's look around. There's a bat. 
there is a skeleton in the water. And I love this little purple haze along the horizon. That's really cool. All right, let's go look around for wispy cotton. It should look white. I think during the daytime, it's it, it's the same cotton, but at nighttime, it's disturbed cotton, and at daytime, it's fanciful cotton or wispy cotton. So we were lucked out, and we did get a regular type dream. Oh, here we go. Here's some stuff. All right, what do we get? Wispy cotton. We did it. All right. So this is working out good. So now we can make the other dream weavers, and um, maybe we can get more out of the spirit world. I, I think if you plant wispy cotton around your bed, along with some other stuff, um, it also further reduces the chance of having a nightmare. And there's some other stuff you could do here in the spirit world, but it seems kind of limited. Apparently there's supposed to be actual spirits here as well. You guys saw the nightmares before, but apparently there's something like little glowy spirits doing little glowy spirit things, you know, like having little parties. With tea in teacups and whatnot but we'll see um we're just kind of just going to collect a little bit of wispy cotton and yeah i will i will continue to collect wispy cotton and if anything of interest pops up i'll let you guys know i'll be right back guys okay guys we are back and i'm getting tired of looking for wispy cotton it's kind of a pain in the butt um i'm getting impatient so let's head back to the real world i think i just poked myself with this icy needle and yep we're back here we are we're back in bed and the totally the dream catcher worked we now have 13 wispy cotton so we can make ourselves some more improved dream weavers as well as some other stuff so one thing i noticed in the spirit world is i still had my super speed from my baubles which kind of seems like a glitch um so let's actually give this a test here um, if we go back to our base up here, we're gonna grab one more brew of sleeping and We're gonna head back to the spirit world and we're gonna give something a try because you know We can wear our flying ring as a bobble and I think what we could do is we could sneak it into the spirit world that way Which sounds really cool to me. All right. Um, was it here? or Was it here? There we go. Let's grab one brew of sleeping and I don't know where we would like to do it. Let's go back to our bed yeah, we definitely want to do it around our bed in hopes that it is a, you know, a regular daytime mare and not a nightmare. It's a different kind of mare. All right, so we're back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this greater, bring, this greater ring or band of aura and I'm going to replace it for my angel ring. And let's see if we get to accidentally take that back with us to the spirit world. Um... Should I let's should I get an icy needle? I'll screw it. We'll just die this time. So here we go. What a good sleep I'm having. All right, good. It is a daymare, and as you can see, I can't access my bobble menu. But look, my wings are still on. So look at that, guys. That is how you can fly in the spirit world. Your bobbles are still on you, which definitely seems like a little bit of a glitch, and I'm sure that'll get updated sometime. Um, I'm sure the witchery person is not thrilled that I'm flying around in a dream. But that seems more like a dream anyway. This is what I do in my dreams. I fly around. I fly around. So guys, as always, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off here in a dream. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you handsome and gorgeous people for watching. If you want, check out my streams on twitch.tv slash catdogpigduck. I'm trying to do those more regularly, if I can ever say that word correctly, which I can't. I'm trying to do them Tuesdays and Thursdays, you know, on the days. So check those out. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye.